Everybody hates slow Wi-Fi, so that is why I'll be showing you guys 10 ways to speed up your internet connection. If you do enjoy this video, then make sure to leave a comment, hit that like button down below, and also subscribe if you are new. So if you do have any top 5 or top 10 lists you want to see me do, then leave them in the comments down below. But now, let's get started. A big kiss for you. Number one, we start the router. The popular Hello IT. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Works in many situations and it could be a fix for slow Wi-Fi as well. All you have to do is just turn off the router for around 30 seconds and then turn it back on. Most routers have a turn off switch at the back, but you can also just unplug the adapter to cut the power and then it'll turn off. Once it's restarted, wait at least one minute and then you can try using it again and see if the Wi-Fi is still slow. While you're at it, you can also restart the device that you're using the Wi-Fi on. Sometimes the device connected to the Wi-Fi could be the cause of the issue as well. Number 2. Check other devices using Wi-Fi A Wi-Fi network's total bandwidth is divided between devices that are currently connected to it and any bandwidth heavy program on one device will affect the internet speed of the other devices. Normally, tasks like browsing the web do not have a major effect but if someone is playing games or streaming videos or even downloading huge files on one device, it could drastically affect the network bandwidth of the other devices. So make sure that no one is using the Wi-Fi network for bandwidth heavy content. Number 3. Stop background programs using bandwidth There is a chance that a background program may be using the bandwidth without your knowledge. For instance, Windows Update is notorious for downloading updates in the background, and there are other programs as well that are connected to the internet and take up bandwidth in the background. Even malware can do this. If you are using a Windows PC, you can see the active background processes from the Windows Task Manager. Press Ctrl Alt Delete to open up the Task Manager, or right click on the taskbar and select Task Manager, and move to the Processes tab. Here, both Windows and third-party software processes are listed. Now go ahead and look for any third-party applications that you didn't start and click on End Process. Just try to avoid closing processes with words such as Windows, Microsoft, Explore.exe, and System, etc. If you doubt a process, then you should search for it online and see what it does. Number 4. Change your device and router location Your router's location plays a very important role in ensuring the Wi-Fi signals properly reach your device and offer optimum speed. Wi-Fi signals are sent in a dome-like manner, and any obstacles between the router and your device could affect its speed. If you want to send the signals everywhere in the house, then it is best to place your router at the central location and at a higher point. However, the thing to focus on are the objects coming between your device and the Wi-Fi signals. Although Wi-Fi signals can easily penetrate through most of the objects with little to no drops in speed, there are some objects that are really hard or impossible for Wi-Fi signals to pierce through. For example, Wi-Fi signals have a hard time penetrating metal, cement, or concrete, so if you're behind a wall with such material in it, the Wi-Fi signals will be affected. Your distance from the router also affects the Wi-Fi signal. The further you are, the weaker the signals will get, so try to stay relatively close if you can or consider getting an Ethernet cable. Number 5. Change the Wi-Fi channel Wireless signals work on different channels similar to radio signals, and all routers near your area are connected to these channels. If there are loads of routers connected to the same channel, they may interfere with each other's signals. Thankfully, you can manage these channels and choose the one that has the least amount of load. For this purpose, Wi-Fi InfoView is a great tool that is simple and free to use. When you launch the program, it will show all the Wi-Fi channels and how much they are crowded. Here, select the one that is the least crowded and you are good to go. Number 6. Windows Network Adapter Power Saver If you have Windows in power saving mode to save power and increase battery time, then there is a good chance that it's saving power on your network adapter as well. Windows can decrease power to the network adapter to save power while sacrificing internet performance. To set it to maximum, go to Control Panel from the Start menu and click on System and Security. From here, click on Power Options and then click on Change Plan Settings next to your selected plan. In the next screen, click on Change Advanced Power Settings and Power Options should show up. Here, then click on Wireless Adapter Settings and set it to Maximum Performance. Number 7. Fixed Network Drivers Sometimes corrupt network drivers can lead to slow internet speed on that specific device. To find and fix network drivers, press the window key plus R to open up Run Dialog and enter devicemanagement.msc. This will open up Device Manager. Here double click on Network Adapters and see if they're all fine. A driver with the yellow triangle and an exclamation mark shows that there is a problem with it. If you find any of these, right click on the device and then click on Update Driver Software. Then follow the wizard to update the software and the problem should be fixed. 
Number 8 Reset Your Router If everything else fails, you can also completely reset your router to factory settings. That should revert any wrong changes that may be affecting the Wi-Fi. To reset the router, you will find a tiny reset button inside a hole right on your router. This will most likely be on the back of your router. You can use a paper clip to press this button. Press and hold this button for at least 10 to 15 seconds and your router should restart. Once done, you will have to make all the changes again and set up a new Wi-Fi password. Before you attempt this step, if you live with anyone else such as a roommate or parents, etc then make sure that they are okay. with you resetting the router first. Number 9. Disable any VPNs If you use a VPN to browse anonymously, then you should know that all VPNs slow down internet speed to some extent. VPNs route the traffic through their servers and also encrypt and decrypt data in real time. This leads to slower processing as your internet needs to deal with a lot more data. You will have to stop using a VPN service or upgrade your internet speed package to get better speed. And number 10, contact your internet service provider. If nothing is working out for you, then you should contact your ISP and discuss the problem. It could be a problem on their end and they may be able to provide the right instructions to solve your issue. You also may get some sort of compensation bonus if you ask for it. However, you may only get this only if your ISP is caring enough. So that has been the 10 ways to speed up your internet list. If you did enjoy this video, then don't forget to leave a comment, hit that like button down below, and also subscribe if you're new. And if you have any top 5 or top 10 lists you want to see me do, then leave them in the comments down below. You can check out the previous top 10 list, which was 10 awesome YouTube tips and tricks, by clicking on the annotation on the screen or by visiting the link in the description down below. That is pretty much it. I hope your Wi-Fi connection now is running a lot faster. I hope you all have a wonderful day. John Pack out. Peace.